I have a dress form and I've decided that I want to actually learn how to drape garments on the dress form. So I've been reading books and I've been online and trying to teach myself. So I was on Pinterest and I found a picture of a little top that I thought I wanted to try to see if I can recreate. So that's what I want to share with you today. So I started out by going to Walmart and buying some knit fabric. I bought a black knit fabric to use as my muslin. So I did everything, I draped everything. So now I want to show you through pictures what I actually did to create the muslin for this top. And I wrote down everything so that I wouldn't miss any steps. So from looking at the inspiration photo, I pinned the muslin to the dress form and then I traced the shape of the inspiration top onto the muslin in yellow tailor's chalk. I did this marking and draping for the front and also for the back of the top and then I cut around my tracing lines. I took the fabric off the dress form and that left me with a pattern in the form of fabric. I then placed the fabric onto dotted paper and I used a tracing wheel to trace around the pattern to get the pattern onto the dotted paper. After the pattern was traced onto the paper, I went around and I added half inch seam allowances to the pattern. Then I cut the pattern out of my black knit muslin fabric. Now for the collar, I used a pattern that I already had from another pattern from a simplicity pattern and I measured around the front and the back of the neckline to determine how long I would need my collar piece to be. The measurement around the collar ended up being about 19 and a half to 20 inches so I just lengthened the collar piece to I think I did 20 inches and then I cut it out. After that I sewed everything up. Okay, so I tried the garment on myself and I realized that the neckline was a little too tight so it was very hard to get on. Once it was on, it was okay and I was able to wear it just fine. It fit fine, but just pulling it over my head, it was really, really hard. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and open up the neckline a little bit more. I also decided to add this band to each side, but I realized that I don't really care for the band and I'd rather have these be straps so that I can tie the top closed so on the next one the real one in the real fabric I'm gonna make these ties instead of this band or strap also I noticed that the front and back are not the same width and then I need to make a correction on the shoulder because the front and the back shoulder on each side is not even. So I will go back to the pattern and make those changes and then I'll be able to make up the real garment. So I am ready to start working on my actual top and I'm gonna use this fabric which is some really nice knit that I purchased from Joanne Fabrics. I'm going to just go ahead and make my alterations. So I'm going to make the front neckline go in a little bit deeper because when I was putting the top over my head it was just a little too tight so I'm just gonna lower this neckline slightly just a little bit and then I'm just gonna cut that off my line is I'm gonna just kind of go on my own because my line is not really where I want it to be so I'm just kind of eyeballing it so I'm doing that I just made one slit in the back piece and did a slash and spread method so that it can line up with the front piece because it was a little bit more narrow than the front piece but now they match up pretty well. And I'm going to go ahead and get ready to start cutting everything out. I also cut a strip for the side straps. So my strap is going to be three inches wide, so three inches this way, and then it's 22 inches long this way. So I'm going to cut this out and then I'm going to put this on the side of the top so that I can tie it together. The last piece that I will be using is this pattern piece from 
Simplicity 8738 for the collar and I'm just going to extend it again so that it can match the neckline for this new top. actually have the top all finished it came together so quick and I'm just in the process of ironing it right now but I tried it on I love the way it fits and the ties on the side I did make them about 11 inches down from the top so I measured 11 inches down front and back and then I tacked the straps to the side so I like it I can't wait to show you what it looks like on okay so here is the final look and it has the ties on the side which i really like and the neck was much easier to pull over my head i think it could be too that the fabric is a little bit stretchier than the black fabric was but it definitely was easier to get on and i like it it's very comfortable and i will be able to just throw it on on top of different tops so i like that so i can switch up the look but yes, this is like my first real self-drafted garment using the dress form. So I'm excited. And this is what the back looks like. Yay. So before I go, I want to leave you with a love share. So you know how we can dial 411 or 911? Well, those who have speech and or hearing disabilities can also dial 711. Dialing 711 will put the caller in touch with an assistant who will help the caller make a phone call to another person. The assistant will remain on the line and during the conversation, the assistant will relay voice messages to text and text messages to voice.